Welcome to the Small Business Office Showcase, where daily we provide you a quick tour of a government agency's small business portal or something similar from a large prime. We understand that as a small business, time and resources are limited. We hope by quickly summarizing this information, we save you time and perhaps put you one step closer to your next contract. In this episode, we're going to focus on FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency. To make it easier for you to quickly do your own research, the links we discuss will be in the description below. In each episode, we'll target six pieces of information we think are most valuable to you. Does this agency have a small business portal? Does this agency list out events it hosts or attends so you can plan well in advance? Is there a forecast for the next 12 to 24 months that will help you identify opportunities? Does the agency provide a list of current primes that have an obligation to subcontract to small businesses? Is there any special registration required for this agency other than what's required for the entire federal government? And then finally, is there a list of people available that you can reach out to for help or to get questions answered? You can see the basic results on this slide, but let's go ahead and take a quick tour. I've already clicked on all these links and opened it up. Before I walk through them, I just wanted to mention that there is no special registration that we could find for FEMA. So let's go to the small business page. Um, this is a pretty good page, especially considering that FEMA falls under uh, Department of Homeland Security for much of what they do for small business activity. Uh, for them to have a page down here is great. A lot of good useful information that I'll show as we start moving forward, um, but good job for that. Let's go ahead and move forward to events. So like I mentioned with DHS, FEMA falls under DHS for the events and you can click here to get access to their events. And you're able to see a consistent set of uh, or a regular schedule of events that are out there. Um, one thing to keep in mind about some of these events is sometimes they're directed towards specific type of um, uh, customers that, or uh, uh, small businesses that they're actually trying to reach. So um, in this particular case, I don't see any. Let me tell you. Now we move over to the schedule. As you can see, there's a PDF schedule here that you can download. You can find the events they have. They're regularly scheduled. This is a fiscal year calendar that you see. <clears throat> and almost all of them look like they're in DC. But you get good access to different people. Note that some of these activities, you can see in the bold, they're geared only towards certain groups of um, folks. And so in this particular case that we're looking at, it's for veteran owned. But they do have a calendar, and that's great. Let's go ahead and move on to the forecast. So with the forecast, they've got a really good forecast here. You can scroll down. You can see certain information. Uh, a lot of good stuff here. Um, it's got a point of contact, which is awesome. That's a big piece that you're looking for. And they also talk about who the primes are or the um, uh, incumbent is, excuse me, as you're uh, coming down. So that's really helpful. I've noticed some have these, some don't. One thing that you can see, like right here, I just passed one, Omni Corporation. So when it has it, it tells you the contract, when it's going to be expiring. That's uh, incredibly valuable information. If you're trying to chase this opportunity down and you're going to team up with some people to know when it ends and when to begin to plan for it, uh, it's a really good uh, set of information. One thing I will point out is that you can click on the CSV file button for downloading it as a um, Excel spreadsheet basically allows you to sort it all out. All this information becomes nice in various tables and rows so that you can manipulate the data how you would like. And then as we come over to the next one, do they have prime contractors? And they not only have prime contractors, but they have it twice, uh, which I really thought was pretty cool. Um, so first, you can come to this page for prime contractors, and as you come down, you can see that like a Accenture, for example, it has their point of contact. You can email this person. Um, some of them might actually have phone numbers as you come down, but as you can see, there's a lot of prime contractors here with points of contact information. So um, helpful for you as you try to reach out to perhaps get a subcontract under one of the prime contractors. I said there was two, so here's the other one. Um, one is on a web page, and this one here, <laughs> now I can't tell if this is real, but it says it hasn't been updated since March 2007. And if that's the case, I would recommend that uh, DHS actually do something about that um, because it is pretty old. Uh, you can see that this person's different than Irene, who was, I think, on there before. 
But this is really old stuff, so make sure you don't get caught up on this one. This data should not be even on the website. Uh, but I just wanted to recommend or point out, go to the website for the prime contractor information. And then the last one is small business contacts or specialists. Um, in here, they break it up by everybody. So we're doing um, FEMA. You can find them, Federal Emergency Management Agency, right there. When you click on it, you'll see uh, Mr. Keegan here is a small business specialist. You can reach out. I'm sure that person can give you a lot more information about how to navigate this particular agency. That concludes the walkthrough. I hope you found the information helpful as you continue to grow your business. Please provide any comments below or reach out to me directly if you have questions using my email address, which is also in the description. If you found this information valuable, share it on social media or just give it a thumbs up. I'm your host, Neil McDonald with SV MacPack. I thank you for joining me today and hope you'll join me again for more video tours.